Hey y'all. At the end of the last episode, I said I would show you a picture of something mean and evil, and I was just so tired last night that I forgot to edit it in. However, despite being tired this night, I remembered it, and here it is! <laughs> Alright, that thing really sucks, and I hope we don't run into one. But uh, now on with the, uh, the rest of the episode. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Muckin' About with uh, Kristen here. And we are going to do what we said we were going to do. Uh, we're going to work on our orchard. So I did... Ah, actually, let me show you guys. I did uh, finish up uh, ish. <laughs> I laid out the blocks. And as you can see, I, I, I've done some road work here. And whoop, potential road work there. But this is the original one, which I now have working with papaya fruit and or papaya trees. And it is going very well. Uh, my papaya sapling count is going up. I started with 39. Uh, it was going really slow at the beginning, so I, I was a little bit worried. Uh, but So I set this up. It doesn't have anything except for the water right now. So it's just got that guy, which the other farm is using quite excessively. But I got the quartz in place. I got the machine in place. I don't have the breadboard, but we're prepping to take care of that. Um, so let's skip right to that. If we head back into here. I hooked up the uh, thermionic fabricator over here, and we're gonna want a uh, copper electron tube. So I'm snagging one of them, and then I'm going to quickly remove everything from here. And then remember that I just do that. Alright, back in the corner that thing goes. Oh, uh, the other thing I did off camera is I've gotten quite a bit of, uh, well not quite a bit, but I got some resources. So I got some copper, so we shouldn't have to worry. Uh, some more tin, melted down some more iron. Uh, we're going to be moving into doing some tanks pretty soon because, uh, well, we're getting quite a bit of uh, liquid stuff to store here. Let me put my pulverizer back. Turn off all the... Uh, ports and such. I don't like it sneaking away on me. So we have the electron tube. That's what we need to set up an orchard. The other thing we're going to need is a breadboard, which I have created one of. And the last thing we're going to need is a soldering iron, which is a carpenter recipe that goes like that. I'm missing resources. I bet you... Water? Yeah, water. So I don't have a bucket on me. I can snag one of them. Mm -hmm. oh, I have no idea what I'm doing with these, by the way. This is 15 by 55 or something like that. Uh, did some rough math earlier. Uh, so we were talking about it in roughly 550 or so lily pads. Here we go, soldering iron. That's the last thing we need. Ta-da! Alright, alright, alright. So, what we are looking for is an orchard. So we go to the soldering iron. We're not dealing with an electric iron our electric engine. We're not dealing with a managed farm. We're dealing with a manual farm. So we're going to put that in there. And that. Whoa. Okay, cool. So this is going to be a little bit of a test, is I'm not sure if this will change all of them over to the orchid, or if I need the more advanced board. Or orchid. Orchard. Ah, just the one. Okay, so I'm going to need the more advanced board. I'm pretty sure I need to pop that back out again. Uh, this is... Or, uh, well... Maybe I can get that tube back? I'm going to say Lost Cause. 
think. So we will set up the thermionic fabricator because we need one more tube now. Let's get back to that. Just a pick you we can use this on. There we go. Glass, I found you in here. Let's put you up there. For these tubes, I then need that copper back. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there we go. Back to the corner with you. So I was hoping just the simpler board, since I just wanted them all to be the same. But I guess not. So a board. I do recall. I think this one uses gold, which is not a problem. We'll also. No gold there. No gold there, but I could make a bucket real quick. Save me from having to use up more of my capsules. Believe it or not, the thing I'm running low on pretty quickly here are uh, is wax. Is I went back to my old redwood forest uh, base and pirated some of the wax that I had left behind to get that much, but I was been going. I've been going through it so fast. There we go. Let's get a bucket of water here. I've been going through it so fast. Uh, with the stuff I brought back, I just have barely enough to do one alveary uh, minus the pollen, which is what I'm getting up right now. So that's going to be a future episode, putting those together. There we go. Uh, that is the integrated circuit board, right? C-I-R-C, good enough. Yeah, okay. Intricate, that's what I meant. Do, do, do. Yay! Okay, then this thing, we solder, we go back to manual. We want an orchard, whoa, an orchard, an orchard, an orchard, and an orchard. And as soon as you put the fourth one in, done. But that is what we need. Yeah, that's that's all good. Running off on its own. So I'll explain those holes in a in a moment here. Let's change this over to orchard mode. Nice. All right. Um. Next, saplings. I know exactly where to get some saplings from. Yeah. Ha -ha. So, uh, underneath here is where all of the different parts are. Uh, what you'll see is this is just a pattern I've laid out. I know I can grow, um, uh, the papaya trees will grow in this pattern. It, it's fairly dense. It's a little, uh, over, down, down. They're always four apart in a row. But this pattern will work. Oops. I forgot to finish trimming this guy will work for uh, making it fairly dense. Uh, some of them do go beyond the borders. I did a little offline testing, uh, i.e. single player. Oops. And I found that it is possible to snag them a little bit over the edge. But this should be a fairly good layout. Now these trees are a little slow to grow. A little bit. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and five. 
So we might get some bone meal and help them out and uh, out, out and around. Oh yeah. This one's going to be an interesting because we'll replace it when it's done growing. I'm pretty sure I can replace the bottom stump here without it giving me any cause. And I don't have any bone meal on me. It's not that big of a deal. Let me get rid of these one-offs. There we go. Got a little bit more breathing room. I'll put the rest of these papaya saplings over here just to make sure that it doesn't hiccup with that low number. Oh, it has no output. It's not going to be doing anything for a bit. There we go. Give it a little more room. We also need to go flick on the uh, water pump real quick. So what I might need to do here in a moment is craft up some bronze so we can get another uh, biogas engine going. Uh, the other thing that we will want to do is uh, put together another... Actually, I think we just need to recolor another one of the uh, ender tanks. Because I think we just need one more new biogas to uh, fill another engine. Speaking of which, I can probably put more in there. Alright, we're almost full. Two more pulls. One more, there we go. Oh, I actually have some, uh, some big news. I've been looking for a, um, a zombie spawner, preferably one fairly close by. And I found one. If I get a moment later, if we're waiting for something like bronze, I'll see if I can't run down. It's a fairly convoluted way to get there, even though it's that close. Uh, saplings. Oh. Forgot I had that squeezing honey. Oh. So, I shall just put the seeds in here for now. I'm always trying to do a couple of things at a time. It doesn't always work out the best. Uh, I've got some more storage down here now. Let's put this stuff away. Grab a couple of things. Actually, let's grab as much dirt as we can. We'll make a stop off at that box up there. Uh, up you go. Down you come. Up you go. Nope. Yep. Ah, always getting a bit of lag. Destroying my life on this server. Alright, we're getting, we're slowly getting more space in our inventory again. I saw two different types of copper here. Oh no, they'll stack. Nice. A little bit of bronze. That might be all we need. Eight. That'll get us two gears. I think we need a casing though. Yeah, we probably do. Let me see. Okay, we need a power source. We need a redstone energy cell. So we'll take care of that stuff first. Let's see how much liquid redstone we have stored up. 15. We need another for 2,500 buckets. Do, do, do somewhere in here. Did I take it all the other side? I'll say the other side. And I'm pretty sure the big stones were down here. There we go. So each one of the blocks is 900, so we'll need uh, two of them. Oops, this guy. One, two. Is that 18 plus 15? Is that 33? So we'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, there's 33, so seven more. 
will get us exactly what we need for a uh, ah, an energy cell that is empty. So we got the electrum, we got the diamonds, we don't have the hardened glass. Oops. Haha, <laughs> tinker tools. Alright, hardened glass. That is pulverized lead and obsidian. As long as we don't use up too much here. Uh, pulverized, yeah, pulverized lead and obsidian. Let's pulverize you. Lead is around here somewhere. Some ferrous. Just gonna give me two or that give me four? Two. Okay, I'm gonna need two more. So there we go. Let's get our two more. Go back down to here, so we got four. We'll have exactly what we need for this frame. And just so I don't forget that stuff. One frame. Yay! Now we just fill it up. Doesn't take much effort at all. And we'll be coming back to here to do an empty redstone energy cell. So I need a conductance coil. Electrum. Redstone, there's the redstone. We're good. Three electrum. Alright, there's some gold. There is some silver. Two lead, perfect. I suppose it helps if that other part we made is still around. Damn it. Alright. Off of the bar. <laughs> Alright, so one energy cell. Beautiful. Uh, one of these makes... There we go, a biogas engine. So bronze gears start with wood. And we're going to have to make some. The precious papaya. No. So two of these gets us two of these, and we happen to have some bronze on us to get us two of those. We'll need a piston, three more bronze and glass, so all we need is the piston, cool. One, two, three, four, take one of them, one of those. Piston. So there we go. We have our biogas engine. We have our redstone energy cell. We can drop off some copper. Amber, why do I still have that? I'm going to put the. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Redstone goes in there. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap up here, or, well, I'm going to warp, or walk, or anything but really wrap. <laughs> up there, there we go. Plenty of inventory. So we need that, that, don't really need that. We'll keep that, we'll keep that. So I'm going to need my wrench back a couple of the cells here, or a couple of the pipes. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, I'm going to need more cactus melted down. I think I might have to swap over a uh, ender tank, and it's going to be the green one, so I'm going to need the cactus here. Is I'm not entirely ready to set up our uh, more elaborate routing system where uh, I mix into it the larger storage tanks. But we also, unfortunately, might need a piece of lapis, which I've got to say, oh yeah. It's like I thought I put it all on something. Probably this. I got my griddle up, oh, excuse me, up to uh, level two. Mm-mm-mm. Ender tank. Ender tank. So, uh, this I believe is the one that is backwards. And somewhere in one of these chests. Probably right back up where I came from. I stuck a whole bunch. Oh, dies. But I brought it with me, so why not just use this? I might actually have a purple one here somewhere. But let's go match this up to one of the uh, biogas tanks down here. So purple, green, green. I just need to swap the one on the end. So purple, green, green. Nice. Let's pick this back up. Didn't keep any smooth stone on me, really. For sake of time. I know uh, the last episode was fairly long. And... Well, I don't really care. Uh, I'm hoping you guys didn't mind too much. Let's turn that down. Good, it's filling up. I will go get a bucket of lava. Um, I put a lava tank down below, uh, right next to the lava, so I don't have to carry them anymore. And I also have the other one up here from all the earlier smelting I was doing. So there we go, we get our little kickstart. Let me grab those pipes I put away so foolishly. I just need the two. <laughs> this place is really coming along and I'm really enjoying it. Alright, so... Let's uh, start you up. There you got your heat. Here is the redstone cell. And there is the connection. I left the wrench up there, didn't I? Now I have to remember where... No, no, no. Underground chest, I stuck it with the pipes, I believe. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And... There that goes. There that goes. These aren't ones I can take on by hand. I guess I need a lever. Then we'll finally get to see the orchard in action, I think. With manual, I don't know if... I think I just need water and power. Might need the fertilizer. Maybe that's what it uses to uh, regrow things. What am I up here for? What? What? Water and power. I need a lever. One piece of cobblestone, I will take it. 
few pieces of jungle wood. They were sticking out anyways. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Look at this. Uh, these are already growing. Very, very nice. And actually, the textures were kind of screwed up in single player. I'm actually glad to see that they don't look like that here. There we go. This should be heating up. And it is. Nice. Watching it jump. Oh, that's, uh... Did it say everything was happy and honky-dory? Looks like it. This one's always, in my opinion, tricky. Like, I think you should be able to pick that one up there. Whoa! All right, uh, Michael is uh, Mike. I guess is joining us on the server. Let me go check out real quick, see what he was up to. Hey, yo, what's up? I can't find Thumbcraft version three o five e. E. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one moment. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop the recording real quick while I go look for that mod. Be right back. Ew. All right, everybody. So check the length of the episode. We're already at uh, 26 ish minutes or so. Um, Mike's off trying a couple more things. We've just been running around in circles with that. And what was I doing? I think I was getting bone meal. I think. I think. Maybe. Anyways, um, I've apparently been standing here long enough that most of the trees are prone. And I'm pretty sure those are the... See this nice pattern? It worked! Ooh, he might have trouble growing. That's pretty... Excuse me, pretty close. Alright, alright. Let's, uh... Take a peek. Which I climb at normal. By rainfall, 50%. Well, it's got water. Alright, let's uh, assume for a moment it needs some of this. In which case, I'm going to need more of that myself. doesn't have power. I forgot to smack. Yay! I didn't need that though. Look at that. The fertilizer did go down. Yeah! Yay! Oop. Oop. Oh, it took it. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know if it'll take that one. And it took that one. Damn it. I will see one of these get taken. Oh, this is a lame tree. Look at that. It's got like two. Okay, these ones might be on the wrong side. They might be a little too far away. Ah, uh, but this is all it will do. Is it's only going to suck off the, the, the fruit down off the tree and put it into storage. And then, miraculously somehow, set it back up and grow it again. Alright, let's uh, get some bone meal. That's probably what I was going for. And you can use bone meal on the fruit to grow the fruit, so we'll just give it a try. Bink, bink, bink. I don't think I have any down here, but just on the off chance. I had a little bit on me earlier, but um, I used it to kickstart the other one. Ah! And I apparently hit all the leftovers somewhere. Let's get you out of there. Iron, we can take you down. 
I kind of do a little sorting every time I'm here. Although I will say it's getting annoying. There we go, three bones. That should be more than enough. So, this marks our second farm that is up and running. Might do a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of tree selection. Alright, you are a prime target. There we go. See? See? That's what it looks like when I grow them. Ha 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 So it's working. Um, let's see how it's doing on the resources thing. Still good here. 55 papayas, not too bad at all. It's going to drain a little bit more of our water. And I don't think it uses much uh, MJ at all. Not one bit. Well, alrighty, guys. Uh, that finishes up the majority of this task. I still got some beautification stuff to do. Is I need to figure out what to do with the roof here. Maybe I'll just bring the quartz over. Um, let's fix this up. What do you say? There we go. I know that might look a little weird. I, I, I probably will just trim that down. I mean, look at this. It it's, doesn't have any fruit on this side anyways. It's not taking those two. So let's just get rid of this. Um, as for foliage, let's take a peek. They're usually a 3x3 three three with a poke off the end. So a 3x3 three three with a poke off the end. Three by three, poke off the end. No, uh, I see a sapling down there. Yay! All right, let's. Perfect. Nice. 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 Alright, not too much fruit on the insides. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I brought just the right number. Aha! <whistles> Didn't see nothing. Didn't see nothing. Nothing to see. <laughs> Alright, so when this one stops working, uh, I found out that the, the hummus degrades into sand over time so it doesn't matter if it's actively working eventually this is all going to turn to sand uh, that kind of annoys me it's more from a aesthetics point than anything else so if we just wipe the sand out what happened? oh it is there <sighs> it was hidden Oop, let's put that in there So uh, this kind of starts up a new, new sort of swing for me. It's got more than enough energy there. Biogas tank is running a little empty. Do I have any more? No, I don't. And so is the water. All right. So um, before we wrap this episode up, uh, we tackled the what we did want. Uh, tackled what we wanted to here. Um, let me. There we go the honey capsules are gonna come in handy pretty quickly here um... I want you guys to pick the next episode oops, can't hold down shift and do that there we go I have uh... two immediate projects that I'm interested in pursuing yeah, this is a problem the floating jack-o'-lanterns, I'm assuming it'll be fixed eventually. Ah! No! Ah, it's gotta be out of storage space already. You will suck. There we go. Um, one is down here. I don't know exactly what this is going to be yet. I have an outer ring here. 
and then I have a closer tight knit ring on the inside here and I've thought about a little bit of a tower it's not going to be huge uh, this will be the main floor and even this is going to have um, like a smaller ring on this side you know like even just a, a quarter maybe a half sized ring and then I was thinking maybe of doing the floor following the river out of glass so you can look down and see it there and then just you know a little bit of an outside deck here with the wood coming all the way up so anyways uh, one of the options is uh, construction so working on another building uh, this would have no particular um, function its in entire purpose would just be uh, because it looks neat it, you know it's going to be a little bit of a bridge over the flowing river a little bit of the bridge um, yeah I guess it does kind of bridge over the river so a um, little bit of a building uh, be able to look down and view the river uh, the glass walkway I, I would need a couple more materials as I'm really liking the papaya so I do want to go with the papaya for some things like this need to make that look a little bit better maybe even a, a row of cords or something um, but any other any other combination you guys can think of that might work out well please uh, do not hesitate to tell me I mean do, 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 we got that I mean, I know I pick some odd color combinations at times because, um, yeah, sometimes I just like odd color combinations. Uh, sometimes my color blindness, I guess, just makes those combinations look pretty good to me, or I'm just used, or like, it, it's safer for me to go with colors that I know I can see a little bit more clearly and such, uh, in line with what other people see. But, you know, I can do, I can see either one of these, I mean, they're, they're kind of high contrast as alternate building materials uh, even a red, like, uh, I should have, no I don't uh, do -do -do -do. there's the blood wood, uh, I'm not against using stone, we have all those blocks uh, let's see if I can remember the name, space block um, Uh, at least it gets rid of a couple more of them. Oh, there's also the warded stone, tin, there's all the metals, but there's these here. I'll move my mouse away from them. There's all the different colors of the planks. I mean, there's the dark wood and the uh, ebony that we have in there. Um, there's papaya, that's what we're using. What would be a nice good color? Maybe some greens? I don't know. So if you guys want to help me out with uh, color selection and such for this particular project, uh, it's more of a matter of which comes first, which comes second. So uh, I do want to get both of these done. It's not like I'm going to abandon this tower if you guys uh, don't pick this as what I should do next. Uh, but the other option is to invest our store of ender pearls is right now I believe I have 11 of them since we were able to reuse yeah so I have 11 ender pearls I have more than enough blaze rods uh, we could hunt a nether portal or a, an end portal we already have a nether portal we don't need to hunt that it's right over there uh, so those are the two things I was thinking of doing is getting a more official uh, presence in the end so going off and finding a stronghold which means we'd probably take those, make them into pearls, and then head back towards uh, my uh, my previous base because that is uh, closer to where a uh, stronghold is likely to be. And from there, we would just go over to the end and start working on an ender farm. Um, the end is going to be a little bit tricky. We don't have mist to get us there and back again we are going to have to use a uh, little ingenuity i.e. ender storage so we'll be able to go there except that whatever we bring there will have to stick in a chest to bring back um, so it's going to be setting up a uh, an ender storage chest there 
with uh, some colors and such that I can access from here as well and just swap the items back and forth that way. I'm not really planning on taking out the Ender Dragon immediately. That will be something that will be done uh, eventually, but for now I'm just focusing on a, um, a better source of Ender Pearls as I'm going to be using those tanks for a lot of the liquid metals and such that are coming out. Um, I, I do believe it would be a lot more fun to hold the uh, all the metals and such that I have in liquid form. Uh, maybe make a little system where I can press a couple of buttons or throw some switches and uh, some levers and then press a switch or two and have it pop out, you know, uh, a, uh, a set of ingots or blocks depending on how many I requested. Uh, so, uh, but all that stuff to transferring the liquids and stuff uh, such, I, I could use liquid ducts and oh god that would require so much uh, lead and, uh, and obsidian. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm really key on using the ender tanks. That's pretty much why I got them into Muckin is I wanted to be able to uh, mess around with the you put uh, one of those on one of them and it can fill this basin just fine so I could use my smeltery as a generic offload situation of you know smelt all this stuff down and then flick the right dial on the right ender tank to send it off to the uh, the cobalt storage tank or something like that uh, but yeah, so that's the reason behind wanting to go to the end and getting Ender Pearls, is we're going to need more of those. I'm down to about 11. Uh, worst case scenario, that should get me to a stronghold and through the portal without too much problems. Not an entire guarantee, I suppose. But it shouldn't be a huge issue. So anywho, um, let me know. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, probably hold off a day or so before I actually start recording that episode, which is going to be murder, as I want to work on this stuff so much. But I am interested to see what you guys would like to see. Uh, a little exploration, or some more building. Like, like this. Ta-da! Building! Yeah, that doesn't look right. Let's uh, twin garden this. Oop, oop. Jeez. My shovel doesn't know its own strength, I swear. little garden just like I kind of got over there maybe I should actually make it match there is actually papaya behind there as well anywho uh, please let me know in the comments I will try and find other things to keep myself occupied before we really go much further in either of these directions so I can see what you guys want uh, once again thank you for watching I always appreciate every view that I get and every comment that I get uh, especially in this one. Yeah. Ah, that's F3 and A will force a reload of the chunks all around me. And woohoo. Aw, oh, did I really? <laughs> it was right through its head. I don't care. That was an awesome shot. So I will talk to you guys next time. Uh, until then, have a good one, and uh, look forward to uh, reading what you guys would like to see happen next. Uh, if there isn't an option that I made, feel free to suggest one as well. I will, I'll still do one of these two first, but yeah, yeah, maybe I'll know, you know, work on a tree. <laughs> Who knows?